Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Koenskin. Welcome back to my art studio. What I've got on the easel today is a nice little spring painting with some greens and some nice spring flowers in there. And the bird I'm adding in, which I'm gonna be painting today, is a nice bright yellow goldfinch. I'm gonna head over to the easel right now and start mixing some colors and get painting. What I want to do first is I'm just going to do like what I do with most of my other animals is I just want to do a rough block in of the colors that are in this bird. So like a mid range value of a yellow and just some loose shadows to to give a shape uh, for the bird and just to give a, a, a general idea of, of how I want the bird to look. So I'm just going to start in basically with my mid range values and my colors and just establishing an overall value structure of the bird just kind of in the mid-range tone because I like to build up my lights and my shadows uh, kind of on either end of that that mid-range value so it's just basically blocking in and and just getting a good idea of, of where I want everything to be. Now the main thing with with this goldfinch that I'm already thinking about while I'm blocking in is that the features on a goldfinch are pretty delicate so I don't want to get too heavy-handed with the shadows or the highlights. I want it to have a nice light feel because there's not a lot of really strong structure. The bird is is small and it's got this nice little round shape and so I don't want to get too too bold with with very dark shadows and very bright highlights. I want it to feel light and I want it to feel nice and delicate because this is a small bird and the bird itself is small in my painting. So I'm just working on establishing a, a few shadows and 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 just getting uh, a little bit of a, a structure of of the direction of light and and some of the shadows on the bottom of the bird and on the back. And this is just very loose right now. I. I just want to really just get a, an idea of, of where I want everything. Nothing too complicated, nothing too detailed just yet. The detail will come later on in the painting when I start focusing on, on the different parts of the bird. So now I'm going to go in and start working on the head and just start really establishing that nice subtle shape and some of that nice color and just those very very delicate features that I was talking about earlier there's a there's a few little breaks in the feathers kind of around the eye and so I just want to establish those very lightly so each color that I'm mixing is only a very small variation from the previous color if I'm going to be doing a highlight or a shadow I'm not making too much of a change from when I'm mixing them so now I just go into a little bit of the highlight, just trying to very delicately establish the direction of light on the head and just some of those uh, slight uh, feather structures that are around the eye. And that nice little highlight that's just on the shoulder and and a little bit of that glow that's that's just on the other side below the beak so now the brightest highlight onto the back of the head but it's not that much brighter than the than the color that I just put on before I, I just added a, a little bit of white to that mixture just to brighten it up a tiny bit and just to really emphasize some of these shadows like just on the on the back there to, to almost give it like a like an outline like a bit of a glow and because the light on this particular piece is more of an overcast day where the light would be very soft I want those uh, highlights and that structure to be really soft And now just a little bit on the beak. I did go back here and I noticed that the yellow wasn't deep enough. So I just took a bit of straight cadmium yellow and just 
did a tiny bit of a glaze just to kind of deepen some of that yellow. And I'm gonna go back a few times throughout this painting to, to really establish that deep yellow color because I notice sometimes that what's happening is when I'm adding white to my yellow mixture, it's, it's dulling it a little bit and it's taking away some of that vibrance. So I will be going back a few times to, to deepen some of those yellow colors. So now just deepening the, the black part that's on the crown and working on the eye a little bit and just really getting that nice, deep, rich color. There's, there's this really great contrast on the gold finch of, of almost like this really bright yellow with these really, really dark black patches on the crown and on the wing. And it's, it's a nice contrast, but I, I really do want to just try and keep it as, as soft as possible, even with those harsh contrasts. So now just the highlight on the eye, and I think the head is now done, so I'm going to move on to the body. And it's going to be the exact same thing of just keeping it really subtle, keeping it really light, and trying to paint it as delicately as, as possible without getting too heavy-handed on any of the things and trying to keep that nice, delicate, subtle shape to this goldfinch. And I'll just jump back and forth between the highlights and the shadows and working on these little white uh, parts that are on the, the ends of the wings and just kind of working on those and trying not to have too harsh of an edge um, with those white parts that are on the wings. Now I'll just move on to putting the highlights on the tail and some of the brightest highlights on the on the wing. And then I'm going to move into the bird's body and just start to deepen some of those shadows and really try and build that structure while also keeping that nice uh, delicate feel to it. So now just establishing some of the highlights and I'll kind of jump back and forth between highlight and shadow here just so that um, I make sure that the highlights don't get too bright in certain spots and that the shadows don't get too dark. I kind of want to just build that structure nice and lightly before I, before I really start adding the brightest highlights and the deepest shadows. I also don't want the back to necessarily be one continuous shape. There's a little bit of break in some of the feathers and there's a little bit of like very subtle shadows in there. So I'm just gonna build up a few of those things uh, really lightly as I go along. now just for some of the brightest highlights and really building that up and just taking my time and not not rushing it so that I don't get too heavy-handed with with each one of these brush strokes and that's good so far it, it seems to be having that nice delicate feel that I that I have, but it's it's kind of taken me a while to really build this up and, and to go slowly. And and here again, I'm I'm deepening those shadows and I'm I'm deepening some of those colors with that straight cadmium yellow, but in a, in a very very light way, like a glaze. Like I'm getting really thin paint, 
and just putting it on extremely thin and, and just building it up slowly. That's been the whole process of painting this goldfinch is that everything I've done has been built up really slowly so that my shadows don't get too dark and so that my highlights don't get too light and so that it has that really, really delicate feel and I don't want it to have too many strong features within some of the structures other than the high contrast between the bright yellow and the dark wings. So now just moving on to the feet. This will be one of the last things I do, just kind of, you know, making sure that they're they're um, following the direction of light and that they're dark enough and that because they're under the body, um, they'll have a bit of a darker shadow to them where normally their legs are actually quite light. But here I want them to feel like there's that strong direction of light that's coming directly overhead. And now just the last few highlights on the legs and on the feet and just the little claws. Okay, so I think that's pretty pretty much done. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna tidy up a few things and and I think I'm also going to go and just deepen some of that yellow a little bit, but also being very, very careful not to get too heavy with it. I want that yellow to just be strong, but I want to make sure that it's not too strong, that it, that it overpowers um, the, the rest of the painting and overpowers the rest of the bird. So I just go back very lightly with that yellow and just put it in just the right spots just to make sure that color's nice and deep and nice and rich. And I'll just tidy up a few extra things in, in the painting and I think I can call this one finished. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out and I'm really happy with with the overall outcome of the painting. It's a small painting, but it's turned out really, really great. So thank you so much for watching.